Hello, this is Mr. Kenyon Nola, and I'm going to show you how to find AB. So AB is this side right here from here to here, and I'm actually going to call it something else. I'm going to call it X. I don't want us to think that we're trying to find angle A and angle B. We want to find this side right here. So find AB. What is the length of this side right here? Well, let's look what we have here. Uh, we have... Um, it's not a right triangle. It's it's actually an obtuse triangle, so we can't use Pythagorean theorem. We can't use 45, 45, 90s or 30, 60, 90 triangle identities. Um, we can't use sine, cosine, and tangent because all that stuff only works for right triangles. But let's look a little closer. Uh, we do have this 104 degrees, and we have the side that is opposite to it, which is this 19 miles. Um, so I'm just going to point it so that we have the angle and its opposite side and we're trying to find this side and we have the angle that makes it the opposite to that so we have angle to the 21 degrees and the angle that's or the side that's opposite to it so we have opposites angle it's opposite side angle it's opposite side uh, so when we have this type of situation we have a non right triangle where we have angle and its opposite sides we can use this law called the law of signs. So, uh, just to, to make sure that you know I'm not making this up, uh, you can watch the previous video on deriving the law of signs. Um, so, yeah. So the law of signs just says that, let's say that you have an angle, call it angle M. Um, let's make it capital M. If you have an angle M, well, you could take its sine of M and set it over its opposite side, so little m, and set it equal to another angle, call it angle N, and take its sine and set it equal to or over its opposite side. And then you could set up this proportion and you can solve for that missing side. So let's just label this right here so we know what we're talking about. So this M is an angle. This N is also an angle. This M is that angle's opposite side. And this N is the opposite side. So again, when you have a situation where you have an angle and its opposite side, like this 21 and its opposite side, and you have another angle and its opposite side, you can use the law of sines. Uh, so let's use the law of sines to find X. So we have uh, this 21. So let's set it up set up our proportion sine of 21 over its opposite side which is x and set it equal to the sine of 104 degrees over its opposite side which is 19. so we got that so angle opposite side over the sine of its angle over the opposite side and now let's just do some algebra. Let's cross multiply. Uh, so x times sine of 104 is x times sine of 104 and set it equal to 19 times the sine of 21. X still isn't by itself. We want to get x by itself. It wants, it wants to go on its own. So this x is trying to multiply sine of 104. Uh, the opposite of multiplication is division. So we'll divide both sides by the sine of 104. And these would cancel out. And now x is finally by itself. Sine of 21 over the sine of 104. So there you have it. The length of this missing side right here is 19 sine 21 over sine 104. What? Yeah, that's the correct answer. But 
Yeah, that sounds weird because this side is 19 miles and this one is 19 sine 1 over sine 104. Why are you being so complicated? So let's not be complicated. Let's give an actual number. So let's grab our calculator and uh, let's type all this stuff up. Oh, there's the answer. But let's let me show you how to get it. First, make sure it's in deg right there in degrees. And then let's just um, let's put a parentheses. If your, your calculator has a parentheses, type in parentheses. And then put 19 times the sine of 21. And you see how there's two parentheses there. We're going to close it off with two parentheses over here. It has to be equal. And then we're going to divide by the sine of 104. Close that parentheses out. And it is about 7.0174. So x is about 7.0174 and there we go there's our final answer and if you look at it it does make sense because this angle its opposite side is should be much longer because this angle stretches these two sides out to make the side stretch out even more this angle is smaller it's 21 degrees so this side its opposite side should be shorter than 19 miles so x is equal to 7.0174 oh, miles. And there you have it. That's the law of sines. Angle, opposite side, angle, opposite side. And we just plug it into this law of sines. It's not regular sines. It's the law of sines. So don't break the law. All right, let's do another example. Let's find BC this time. So let's see what we have. We have, uh, we're trying to find BC. It's from here to here. I'm just going to call it X. And we have an angle and its opposite side. And we have this 41 and its opposite side. And it's not a right triangle. So we're going to use the law of sines. So let's set it up. Let's write the sine of 86 over its opposite side, which is x, equals the sine of 41 over its opposite side, which is 23 meters. From there, we just do some algebra. So let's cross multiply uh, x times sine of 41 is equal to 23 times sine of 86. Yeah, let's always put the 23, the number without the sign, in front of the number in front of the sign. It'll make things much easier when we type it into our calculator. All right, so x is in by itself, so we're going to divide both sides by sine of 41. Sine of 41. Those cancel out, so our final answer would be x equals 23 sine of 86 over the sine of 41. There is the exact answer, uh, but let's give a, a non weird looking answer, non complicated answer with an actual number. I'm predicting that when we type this into our calculator, it will be greater than 23 because this angle is greater than 41, so its opposite side should be greater than this angle is 23. And let's use our phone calculator right here let's turn it sideways make sure that there isn't anything up here that says uh, radians make sure it only just says rad right there um, and then let's type it up it's a little different from um, a calculator with multiple lines so we're going to put 23 times 86 sine and this right here is just the sine of 86 now let's press equals Okay, but we're not done. This right, this number right here just represents 23 times sine of 86. Now we want to divide that whole thing. So press divide and type in 41 and sine. And then this is just the sine of 41. And let's press equals. And there is our final answer. 34.972. And it really is more than the 23 because 
this angle is much wider than this angle. So our final answer would be about x is about 34.97 and we'll round it to the nearest thousandth, so two. Since this is just four, we keep that at two. There we go. There is our final answer. All right, and last example for using the law of sines. All right, let's see what we have here. Let's inspect what we have here. Uh, we're trying to find AC, and I'm going to use my red pen because this is the last one. This is the finale. So AC, let's put an X right here. So we have this 54, and we have its opposite side. Wait, hold on. What? What? We have 20... We have 65, but we don't have its opposite side. We have 27, but we don't have its opposite angle. Uh, but look what look what we have here. We have two angles. We can figure out this angle right here and use this opposite side because, because yeah, we, we know the triangle sum theorem. We know that all three angles add up to 180 degrees. So we can type in 65 plus 54 is 119, and we can subtract that from 180. We have 61 degrees. Oh, there, all is okay in the world. Well, not really, not everything, but in this world of finding AC, I think we're okay. So we have this angle, we have its opposite side, we have this angle, and we have its, well, we're trying to find its opposite side. So we can use the law of sine. So sine of 54 over its opposite side is equal to the sine of 61 over its opposite side, which is 27. And I'm guessing, I'm predicting that this number would be just a little less than 27 because this angle is just a little less than 61. So that's my prediction. All right, so let's cross multiply. X times sine of 61 is equal to 27 times sine of 54. Now, let's divide both sides by the sine of 61 and sine of 61. These would cancel out. And so x is equal to, now, if you have a fancy calculator like this and you have a button like this, then let's use it. Let's get fancy. Uh, that just allows us to type in fractions like we see it. Oops. Let's just over sine of 61. Yeah. So this will be our final answer, but let's get the numeric answer. Okay. So this button, this N over D means fraction numerator over denominator and we could type in 27 and sine of 54 close parentheses open parentheses uh, sine of 61 close parentheses and just press the enter button as we make sure that you typed in everything that you saw there okay so sometimes there's always um, one of the biggest mistakes that people do, and it's really sad, and I've done it in previous videos, where you do all the work on your paper correctly, the algebra is all correct, but you type it in incorrectly because sometimes your finger slipped or you have fat fingers or I don't know, because you ate too much. And yeah, so anyways, nothing wrong with fat fingers. I have weird fingers. I have wrinkly fingers. I need more lotion. So press enter. And then there's your final answer. It is 24.974. So X is about 24.97. Oh, but that number next to the four is an, is an eight. So that would round it up to a five. So there you have it. There are our two answers, two correct answers, uh, which are the, represent the same thing. This is just rounded. That's the exact answer. And as we predicted, 
as I predicted, I think you predicted, hopefully you predicted, uh, that this answer is a little less than this side right here because this angle is less than this side right here. So that's it. That's how you use the law of sines. And yeah, if you have two angles, don't freak out. Just find the other angle. So you could get the angle that's opposite to the side that they give you. Law of sines. So there, there are my fingers. They're wrinkly because I need lotion because I wash my hands so much. Um, yeah. So anyways, nothing wrong with weird, different fingers. It's okay to be di different and weird. All right. Have a great day. Law of sines.